Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you step by step through each of the ABRSM theory grades. There are loads of resources available to help you on my website. If you go to SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets and they're available to download in US letter or A4 to accompany each step of this series. There's a page there with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also find information about the books that I have available. I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM music theory exam. It's full of tips and hints on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time when actually you're working through your exam paper on exam day. So if you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find it's all there. If you can give me a like, that would be super and please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. And now we're going to continue with this 2014 Grade 2 Paper A. So if you turn with me to uh, page 4 and we'll have a look at question 6 next. So this is um, just a simple uh, scale question and I would always recommend that before you even start an exam paper you quickly sketch out your key signatures for sharps and flats, major and related minor keys and um, if you're not sure how to do that I've done a video on the circle of fifths and you can find the link to that in the description below and if you just work out how to write out that list in the circle of fifths all your thinking is done for this question. So let's see what this question asks. We ask to add the correct clef, so that's the first part. And then we want a key signature to make each of these scales named below. It says here, remember to include any necessary additional flats or sharps, or sharp or flat signs, I read that backwards. Same principle, however. So for the minor scale, you're gonna have a little bit more to do there. So the clef is the first point of call. And so we need to decide what uh, clef we're in. Now A major, of course, must begin and end on an A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And so for that to be the case, it must be in treble clef. So that's easily sorted. Now a key signature. The key signature for A major is three sharps, F, C, G. And just be careful to place those. F sharps, C sharps, G sharps. So that one is completed, job done. Next bit. Now for D minor, we've asked, we're asked to say which minor scale you're using. So I would always recommend using the harmonic minor. And so the harmonic minor has the related major key plus it has the raised seventh. So that's just something to bear in mind in a second. So first job is to add the correct clef. So for this to begin and end on D, it must be bass clef, good boys deserve. So there's our bass clef, nicely in place. Now D minor is related to F major, it has a key signature of B flat, so good boys, that's second line from the bottom, work that one out. Now to raise the seventh to make this the harmonic minor, don't forget that we are now descending, so don't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because actually that wouldn't be correct, because we're now going backwards, it's eight, seven, six, five, so eight, seven, D to C sharp is the raised seventh there. So just be careful when you're descending to count backwards. Or if that's too confusing, just count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And count it that way. So there we go. That's that bit done. And now we will continue with question seven. So we're asked to name the degrees of the scale on these notes here, shown with a little star. We're in B flat major, so we're always counting from B flat. So we can either count from the B flat below middle C. Don't worry about saying flat though, because your key signature will take care of that. So we just want B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four. Remember, always to count this B, or B flat as it actually is, as note one. One, two, three, four. Otherwise, all of your steps will be one step out. If you're not sure that you're going to be making this quite right and you're getting lost counting over your ledger lines, you can always double check it 
by just sketching out the steps of the scale here B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B so there's an octave and we can say that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so we've gone full circle, the full octave and so we can see that E of course it's E flat but your key signature takes care of that E is the fourth so you can double check it that way. If that's the fourth, however, as they've told us, fifth, sixth, counting upwards, four, five, sixth. We can double check that counting from the B, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can also see that G is the sixth. So if that's the sixth, we can now count here, one, two, three, that's a third, B, C, D, we can see as the third. So here we actually have the B, the B flat of course, and so we can either say first, or we can say octave, or we could even say eighth. Any one of those is exactly the same, it's just the tonic. So if this is the first, B is the first, C is the second, and we can see there that C is the second, so that's nicely sorted. So here, E, so we've got B, C, D, E, B, C, D, E, fourth, one, two, three, four, fourth. Of course it's E flat, but your key signature takes care of that, so you don't need to worry about that. So if that's the fourth, one up, is the fifth and of course don't forget they've already given us that answer there so we've just got to double check it looking back so that's one up that's the fifth so let's count from here so we know that B is the first one two three is the space four five six seven so A is the seventh and of course here's a B down one, eight to seven, we can count backwards to double check that as well. And then here we are, we're landing back on the B, or the B flat of course. So we're back home to first octave or eighth. There we go. And so now we're asked to draw a circle around the lowest note in the melody. So we've just got to scan through. We're going down into ledger lines here. Here we've got two ledger lines. That's the lowest note. And so we can just circle that. And there we go. That's done. So we'll look at the final question in uh, the next video. I do hope that's been helpful to you. If you can give me a like, that would be really super. Please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. There's lots more in the pipeline. Please also do visit SharonBill.com and make use of all of the resource and information that's available to help you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!